welcome to today's warm up. We're going to get straight into it, starting with the side to side lunges with arm circles. Ready? and go so feet nice and wide apart with your feet facing forwards in front of you we're going to push the hips back and shift the weight from one foot to the other keeping the chest up shoulders are nice and low as the arms make little circles on either side so you want to imagine you've got like a dishcloth in either hand and you're just like wiping the window to your left and then to your right squeezing the glutes as you shift from side to side Next up, it's the cat the cow. So down on the mat on all fours, you're gonna arch your back and then reverse. Now you can really move around with this. So if you're watching me thinking, what on earth is she doing? You're not wrong. I'm basically just listening to my body and leaning into wherever I felt a little bit more tight. Um, you can pop your hands uh, on the floor in the opposite direction so that your fingertips are facing your knees and that'll give a great stretch in the forearms. So just listen to your body. You can uh, wiggle the feet as well to stretch out the ankles, whatever you're feeling, deep breaths as we stretch out before we then come down onto the walk out to cobra so walking the arms out in front and then you're gonna push your hands into the ground as your upper body peels away from the mat and you feel the stretch in the front of the body then walk it back when you walk back as well when your hands are towards your feet you'll feel a really good stretch in the hamstrings and the calves as we're just warming up shifting the weight of the body from the feet to the upper body so the warm-up is super casual okay listen to your body breathe through then we're going to get back up onto our feet for the knee up and out. So we're lifting the knee up in front, then out to the side, really opening up the hips as we march through, getting that heart rate up a little bit. Lift the knee up as high as you can, engaging the core, keeping good posture as we go. You're doing so well. straight into the next exercise. So side lunge, open arm reach. So uh, reaching across opposite arm to opposite toe, opening out both arms so you feel a nice stretch in the chest. Really getting that twisting motion. Hips are back a little bit so you've got a stretch in the hamstrings as well. Keeping balanced, side to side, well done. few more before we go on to the next exercise and go so floor sweep with big circles so what I want you to do is put one leg in front of the other push the hips back so that that leg that's in front is nice and straight and you're going to sweep the floor as you sweep the floor and press your chest down towards the thigh you're going to really feel that stretch in the hamstring and the calves of the leg that is stretched out in front and then as your arms come overhead I want you to reach onto your tippiest tiptoes and get a really good big circle with the arms next movement we'll do will be the leg swing so swinging the leg um, that is furthest away from the wall if you're holding on to that for balance now when you're doing this it's really important to keep the core engaged I want your core engaged because I don't want your lower back arching and moving all over the place I want the leg to be the thing that is moving so you swing up in front and back behind uh, getting that stretch in the quads as you go back behind if you want to get your leg back further behind you um, that's going to depend on your mobility okay so i don't want you arching your back to get that leg further behind no work in your current range then we'll switch onto the other side so a nice dynamic stretch here really kicking up in front swinging the leg back behind keeping good posture dynamic stretches are a really good way to prepare your body to warm up uh, to work out rather because you're getting the heart rate up and you're moving through a good range of motion but without any like load and pressure on your body or your joints right now. So swinging it in a bigger range of motion each time while keeping good form. You're doing so well. 
smashed it well done then we're going to do some partial single leg squats so with this one you want to stand on one leg lower down put the feet together and come back up so it's one leg down two legs up I want you to be really careful to control this movement. If you find it really difficult, you can just do two leg squats. That is absolutely fine. Because what I want is good movement control. So your hips are going back. Um, you're making sure that your knee is not falling outside of the foot or inside of the foot. Keeping balanced. Weight through the heels. Chest stays up. Squeeze the glutes and the thigh to come back up. Now switch onto the other leg. So lifting up the leg, then putting it down to stand up keeping good squat form, really working on controlling the position of the knee of the leg that is planted on the ground, the leg that you're using to lower the weight of your body down. So I'm making sure that knee is not falling out or in. I don't want it coming too far in front of my toes. And I'm working within a fairly small range of mo mo uh, motion here. I'm not going for a full de depth squat, not in a warm up, no. Amazing job, well done. Then we're gonna do some knee hugs with ankle rotation. So really lift that knee all the way up towards the chest and squiggle that ankle, doing some nice circles there before switching onto the other side. So try and keep the chest up, keeping your balance on the one leg. Chest up and the knee comes up so you're feeling that stretch in the glutes as well. And do some nice ankle rotations. It's a full body warm up today. <laughs> Then we're coming down onto the mat and we are doing some side to side hip openers. So I want the knees bent and um, facing the ceiling, hands behind you to keep balance, a nice open chest, nice long neck. And then we tip the knees down to one side, touching them to the ground before rotating to the other side. So really working that internal and external hip rotation. This is so, so good for opening up the hips. Keep it nice and controlled, deep breathing through. You're doing so well. Amazing job, well done. You are all warmed up, ready to exercise. I hope that you enjoyed today's workout. Let me know how you find it. I love hearing from you. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to share this video and subscribe for more in the future. I will see you very soon. Love you so much. Bye.